Hey yo, what's going on everybody? This your boy B Brown 95 and welcome to my channel, My Life as an Entrepreneur Flipping Medical Commodities. Today I want to talk about, you know, how do you pay your clients? What's the best way to pay your clients? And things like that because you always want to be safe cuz this is a cash business. So you want to be, you always want to be safe and things like that, you know? So obviously, uh, um, one of the main ways to deal in this business, especially when you're dealing with your clients and paying them, is cash. Of course, everybody wants cash, you know, for the most part and things like that. Uh, but you may not always be able to pay cash. So what I want to talk about is different ways that you can pay your clients and be safe. Being safe is the best, most possible way to do this business, right? So I just want to talk about a few of the things that I do in regards to how I do transactions and business with my clients and my vendors. Okay, so let's just start off with the basics, right? Now, you already done marketed and things like that. And if you don't know how to market or want to market better, then look back at one of my previous channels or hit me up directly and things like that. And I can help assist you. But obviously, if a client has supplies, they going to want cash for their supplies. So you can pay them cash and that's cool. But what I want you to know is that only like have the exact amount of cash that you're going to pay them. So if a client has $200 worth of supplies, then you need to have $200 worth of cash. Don't have $1,000 worth that you're showing them. Um, you know, have the amount, the exact amount that you expected to pay them. Also like have have whether that's twenty dollar bills, fifty or hundred. I don't think you should do hundred dollar bills. Maybe fifties and tens and this or that. Because when you meet up with them, even though they they may send you pictures, the boxes is not up to par as they should be. So you can't. You might say, "Hey, the pictures look good. I can pay fifty dollars for this box." But then when you see it on, you know, when you see it live and in action. And you turn the box over and you flip it like, damn, this is a a bad box or this damage here. So you can't pay him 50, but you you might get pay him 40. I got to take a little bit off from this because this is damaged. So you got to have that change ready. Or, you know, you may have um, Cash App, Zelle, Venmo, and things like that. So you need to be able to talk about that before you meet with that person. I think it's best that you able to pay a person through Zelle, Cash App, or Venmo, or PayPal versus cash on hand. You know, because uh, you are going to have to deal with taxes and stuff like that. So get used to that. But um, I think that the way you pay a person is important. So... If you pay them twenty dollars or thirty dollars, you need to have that exact amount. Don't pull out the whole amount of money that you have to so they can see it. You flip it through bills and you're like, all right, man, I got five hundred here, but I'm about to pay you twenty dollars for this. Um, you just never know. This is all about being safe. Okay. You want to be safe when you're doing this business and things like that. So when it comes to paying, you wanna um pay whether it's through cash, Zelle, Venmo, or whatever the fact is, you want to be safe. And I think electronic payments is better than cash payments. Um, when I sell my products to my vendors, they pay me through Zelle, Venmo, PayPal, and things like that. Because my vendors are out of state. I do business in California, Florida, New York, Maine, Philadelphia, uh, Texas, uh, I'm doing business with, you know, throughout the country and we don't meet up and exchange funds, uh, with cash. 
you know, it doesn't work like that in this business. So you need to know that it's electronic means. Now with my clients, they don't have those electronic means for whatever reason. And I may have to pay them cash. But when it comes to when you start growing in the business, you know, I just want to say off rip that you need to have access to Zelle, Venmo, um, uh, 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 cash payments, cash app, PayPal. You need to have all those options open so you can be able to, to know which me payment method that will be beneficial to yourself, you know, uh, whichever way you can get paid the best, whichever way you can pay out the best. So I just want to say that, you know, don't want to keep it too long, want to keep it a little light, but have options of getting paid and paying out. You know, this your boy B Brown, 95. Holla back at me.